Hello everyone, I am Akif and today we are doing a second video on border router. Previously we discussed about 6LBR uh, which is 6 low band border router. We discussed about why there was a need to come up with something called this border router and how it merged two different kinds of networks together. And we discussed about uh, the v various roles it plays, how it connects the wireless personal area network with the Ethernet or Wi-Fi. Uh, it, it, act, it can act as a router or it can act as a bridge. Uh, we in the router, in the router, uh, it logically separates the two kinds of networks, uh, which is they don't share the same IP uh, with six address prefix. Uh, in the bridge, it considers both of these different kind of networks to be a part of the same subnet. Uh, we discuss about a few other subcategories like smart bridge, transparent bridge, and router. We also discussed about the adaptation mechanism, uh, where we help to bind the bind these two kinds of neighbor discoveries together. On one side, we have IPv6 neighbor discovery, and on uh, the other side, we have six low band neighbor discovery. Now today, we'll do some Kuja simulations. For that, you need to. Uh, log into your Contigi operating system and you need to click on the terminal and wait for some time till the terminal window appears now to get started we need to type the command cd Contiki tools kuja then another command that you have to type is ant run now kuja window will appear so to start your simulation you need to first give some name to your file press on file new simulation and let's save it as border router so all these windows has, have appeared now what we need to do is we need to press on modes add modes create mode and we need to uh, s uh, select sky mode we need to locate browse so what we actually do here is that we uh, locate a code and uh, if we have a, a real hardware of this mode what we do is that we uh, put it inside our USB port and we copy the code from our computer into that mode and uh, the pro program that we uh, copy decides what role it's going to play sometimes it can play as a, a, s a server sometimes it can act as a client and we also discussed in RPL border uh, sorry in the RPL where we discussed about the dodex we s uh, we uh, concluded that uh, r uh, there is a root and there are various ch children to that root so each mode cannot act as a root so it's a pro programmer or the program which decides uh, what role it's going to play similarly here what we do is we only compile it here we know that kuja uh, s acts as an emulator also so it behaves like the real um, uh, iot devices and it m it makes the uh, modes that we uh, represent on the network window act like the real uh, IoT devices uh, it exactly have the various IPv6 addresses and we can uh, also see uh, some more information related to that on our uh, web browser which we will be doing shortly now what we do is we click on browse we need to locate a folder uh, which is in the examples and this folder is called IPv6 in the IPv6, we f uh, have to locate and search for the folder called RPL Border Router. 
in the RPL border router we have this code it's called as border router dot C we need to open it we need to compile it wait for some time till it finishes and press create we'll select one and press on add modes so this mode has appeared on the window now what we need to do is we need to look for some other modes sky mode click on browse again we need to find it in examples folder IPv6 we have to look for IPv6 there's this folder called sky web sense and in sky web sense we will select skywebsense.c open it compile it and wait for some time create it uh, you can choose any number you want uh, let's choose five add modes so it depends upon us how we can arrange them B once these uh, uh, modes appear on the window we're not able to figure out uh, which mode is the router and uh, what are uh, other websense mode modes so in order to differentiate between them we can do one thing we need to press on view uh, press on mode it's addresses uh, these addresses they give us the ipv6 address if they have radio traffic then uh, 10 meter background grid also mode type so here we can distinguish between them and mode attribute uh, also the radio radio environment now what we can do is we can arrange them the way we want them to be uh, let's keep uh, 5, 6 and 2 inside the radio range of 1 and 3 and 4 outside this so what happens in the real border router when we have a hardware what we do is that we need to in order, in order to make it functional we switch it on uh, and in case of the Kuja, we have a special command for that now before we uh, type that command and before we make the border router to be functional what we need to do is we need to follow one more step you have to select this border router right click on it uh, then select more tools for sky and in this you need to select serial socket server so serial socket servers here you have to press start on it now before that I will do one more thing we need to click on tools there's this radio message it's a packet analyzer it tells us about the six low pan packet and here we need to do uh, we need to click on analyzer and then on six low pan analyzer with pcap so what this does is that if there's something happening in this window you see any sort of uh, uh, you know data or anything appearing over here it means that in its network layer we have uh, six low pan as a protocol uh, now you need to click on start uh, again you need to go to th another uh, terminal window you need to go to the terminal you have to press few more commands to make it functional so what you need to do is you need to type this command cd contiki examples IPv6 RPL IP, IPv6 RPL 
border router let me make it a bit wider then you have to type another command make connect router kuja it will ask for a password you need to press user which is the default password of contigi Uh, what you need to do is you need to go back to your simulation press on start uh, you can have a look at the network window some of the addresses IPv6 addresses have appeared and the traffic is moving y you will very you will s see various dodacs so this is how RPL functions uh, at the same time you can have a look at the radio message window and it there we can see some sort of activity going on and it actually means that uh, six low pan is in its network layer now we need to go back to our window terminal window we can have a look at this the IP address of the border router has appeared. We can copy this. Once we copy it, we need to we can paste it in our browser, Mozilla browser. So let's paste it here. Paste. Click on enter. So it tells us about its neighbors. So you can have a look. 505, 202, and 606, they are its neighbor. Uh, it also means that a border router is functioning properly. Now we can have a look at this. 505, 202, and 606 are it, its neighborhood. So you can see it clearly. 505, 606, and 202 are in its neighborhood. And it makes a route where this to other uh, so the various routes it forms uh, that will also be uh, that can also be seen in this so the routes it forms so indirectly it's connected to all these two these two route 303 and 404 so that uh, that route you can see here 202, 505, 606, 40, and 303. Now let's copy one of these. Let's copy the one which is un indirectly connected. Wh what is that? It is uh, 404 or 303. Let's copy w one such address and see what it shows. 303 was there. So let's copy this. copy and paste and let's see what it has to say we can wait for some time Yeah, so it behaves like a sensor. It tells us information related to the light it's sensing and the temperature it's sensing. Similarly, we can copy other uh, modes that are connected indirectly or directly to this, and it will give us information related to that. Uh, so that was all for today. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day.